Lars, in the one video is the first time we really get to see your feet when you're playing the drums. And you do that heels up thing. You actually keep your heels up high. Do that by yourself for a second. I want to point out something to people because it's fast. It's almost impossible to move your feet that fast. I can't tap my foot that fast. Is that because traditional drummers keep their heels down when they play and you decided to lift your heels when you play? Does that have something to do with it? I stomp on the kick drum rather than, like you're saying, have the heel. I stomp. So I play kind of with the front of my foot. You're rather, running. You're running hard. And I was just getting into it. Oh, it sorry. comes from uh, it get comes from the from the athletic side of my family. Uh, just growing up around tennis, and everybody in my family were tennis players, were soccer players. Do your ankles and hurt when you play that? Because you're playing with your feet, like at an incredible rate of speed. Do you ache after the concert? No, the the worst parts generally are more the shoulder. The shoulder and the elbows are, are the, the the problem areas for me. The feet are not so bad. You know, if I'm playing like super fast. Wow. Up in that register and playing those fast kick drum patterns and stuff like that, that actually flows fairly easy for me. And I love the kind of what I call the four on the floor, the kind of Phil Rudd, you know, AC, DC. Kind of stomping where you can really, really lean into the kick drum. I've what is the hardest Metallica shows. song to play drum wise, Lars? What is it? There's two ways you play. Uh, some of the songs are more what I call physical. Take a song like Enter Sandman, we were hitting earlier, Sad But True, or some of those songs. Play more physically with your body. The ones that are the hardest are the ones where you have to play with your mind, where you have to keep thinking about the next parts, where it gets into a lot of the stuff uh, from the earlier progressive albums, where it's more, it's five, and then it's three, and then there's a thing coming up with two guys, and you got to remember that the first time it's a double tail, and the second time it's a single tail. A lot of pressure. Let's take, yeah, let's take like the back part of one, you know, so the part where we're just playing, if you go into the next part, the double bass part's fairly easy, but then when it gets to the next part with all those acts, Oh, shit, like my elbows hurt like, from that. Yeah, I mean, that, that's That intense. kind of thing about, okay, now you got to go up to that tempo, then four accents, then do that snare pattern thing there that's syncopated with James's guitar. That's in the head. That's not in the body. And that's the harder stuff for me. Then there are some of those crazy songs from back in the day. There's a song called Freight and Sanity. Some of those songs, uh, Eye of the Beholder and The Shortest Straw. Some of those songs we've kind of edited along the way to make them a little less heady and a little more physical and, and try to just continue to have them, uh, you know, evolve so they fit our playing style more. You know, as we're getting a little older, we definitely like the more physical stuff. And I think we're all less turned on by the stuff that's super heady and cerebral. But like just cutting into that one thing that we just did, I mean, it felt pretty good and we haven't played that in about four months or something.